Have you used the Foxy PDF editor before? If you've not, this is your opportunity to learn the basics of it and apply it to your next PDF operations. Foxy PDF is a very powerful PDF software that you can use to edit your text, to edit your objects, and to do all sorts of editing within your PDF documents, to convert them to different kind of formats in Microsoft Office, and to combine different kind of PDF files. Everything can be done with this very fantastic software. So for you to download it, I'll leave a link in the description. You can just navigate to that link to do is to open it. I have mine open here. You can have the start page. Okay, this is just like the start page. You can see all sorts of tutorial from how to edit PDF to advanced PDF editing. And all this you can learn on your own by just clicking on the link. It will take you to the website and you can view the tutorial on your own. Then you can practice. But then I will show you the most easiest features of this particular PDF editor that you can directly apply to your next experience with PDF. So at the home tab, you have the hand tool, which you can click and then use directly to move with the hand tool to navigate across your document. And you have the selector, which you can use to select a particular text. You have this snapshot. You can click on this and take snapshot of any area you want. And once you take that snapshot of that particular area, it will tell you that it has been copied to the clipboard and you can paste it anywhere. For example, I can paste mine just here, the one I just copied. You can use the clipboard directly, copy things from the clipboard, and you can bookmark things directly. And you can use, you can resize your document. You can fit the page, you can fit the width, you can fit the visibility, and you can zoom in, you can zoom out of the view of your document. You can rotate to the left, to the right, and you can do all sort of editing on the text and on objects. And you can use the typewriter to just simply type text directly into your PDF document and you can highlight any kind of document uh, on your own and you can rotate the pages just like we've seen and you can insert different pages from different documents maybe from a file from a scanner from a clipboard that you've copied somewhere or anywhere you can insert you can delete any particular page you want you can extract any particular page you want from this particular document so there are lots of cool features that you can have with this particular PDF editors. For example, you can come to the convert and there's a series of things you can uh, do from the ribbon here. You can convert from a scanner, you can convert from files and you can convert directly from clipboard. You've copied something somewhere, you can convert it to PDF or from a web page. One of the key things I like about this is you can combine different files. For example, you can just hit the combine and you come here and add different pdf files you can add files maybe in the, you can select multiple pdf files for example i can select multiple and hold the control key and select multiple pdf files and then i can open them and i can be able to see them here and understand the arrangement as regards the combination i can move and change the allocation drag and drop to to change the allocation and once i'm done i'm satisfied with the arrangement i can just hit combine and it's going to combine all this in a particular page, very fresh page. You can see everything is combined. Here are all the pages. This is one of the coolest features of this particular PDF editor. You can combine and you could you can export all as images. You can export all images from this particular document and you can convert also to all sort of MS Office formats. You convert your image different version of image png jpeg all this tiff bmp you can convert directly from this particular pdf editor in the edit menu you can edit text you can just click and just click on this place and you can see the whole of this is now editable you can highlight anything and delete and edit according to your liking right you can edit even the headlines here and you can edit from any document for example, here yeah, I can just click once I highlight the edit text, it's just going to highlight the next text for me. And I can make this, for example, from Iran H2 to Iran H3, something like that. You can edit object. So this object will range from images and so on. 
you can just once you select it as soon as you navigate across object it's going to sh show you that you can yes you can edit this you can reduce the sizing right and you can move it to different place you can do so much as regards the editing of objects so you could add text directly or you could add images bring in from different source and so on one of the coolest features i like about this also is you can add the signature directly once you come over here you can click on add a signature you can say draw a signature or import from a file or paste from a clipboard maybe you copy it somewhere or you could type a signature or anything you can draw on your own once you click on draw it's going to give you this feature this place you can draw and you can just draw just like that and you can have your signature on your own once you're done you can clear and once you are satisfied with it you can say okay and it's going to import this as your signature you can convert it to black and white okay and you can discard you can require password to use this signature anyone who wants to access it can must have to use password from your system and you can save online or you can save directly on the clip on uh, uh, over here so once you just want to use it you can just bring it in you can just drag it and drop on a particular document or in a particular location where you want to sign you we'll come to organize you can extract different files like i said you can delete a particular file you could insert different files also different images you can bring in from different um, different sources you can reverse you can move the particular page to another page to another pdf different pdf file and you can split to different pages okay to different documents you could duplicate to replace swap all these are possible you could rotate to different angles to the right to the left you could crop any part of the pdf document and you could flatten you could add a watermark this is one of the most interesting part you can add a watermark you can click to update an existing one to remove all or to add once you click on add it's going to bring in the watermark you can type for example you can say confidential and it will show you can increase the size if you want you can change coloration you can put in some rotation at 45 degrees or you can customize the rotation to any rotation of your choice you can increase or decrease the opacity from here and so on once you're satisfied with it you click on okay that particular watermark is going to be applied directly on your document you can play around with the background header footer numbering page formats and all these are very very possible with this particular excellent software you could come to comment here and you can highlight a particular text just like we've done before and you could underlining and you can comment directly you can select a particular text and you could just double click and you can put in your comments or anyone who wants to view this particular correction or an input you make can easily get to it directly format the text from here and directly using the this uh, font items you can increase it you can increase the font size you can change the coloration you can use some bolding italizing and underlining and so on directly on your comment section you can do so many things you can insert text just directly using the typewriter you can call out text box you can use any kind of drawing tool you can use pencils you can use eraser and all these these are very fantastic features you can use this stamp okay you can create on your own or use the existing one or you can just create on your own and use and then you can check out the view you can use the read mode you can reverse view you can do text view and you can navigate from one page to another directly you just move from one page to the next you can navigate from here and you could do all sort of things you can snap to grid you can enable this you can put in the rulers you can put in the grid lines and you can bring in grid also into the document just like that and you can unselect it as you wish these are tabs that you can navigate as you move from one document to another and you could come to forms here and you have series of things to play around with you can customize your own form to include check push buttons to include signature area and and to insert images, dates, barcodes, and so on. You can all do this within this particular excellent PDF document. Next, you can protect your document here. You can put in password directly into your document. For any user to use it, have to use the password to access it. You can require, you can click on it, that it requires a password to open this document by just clicking on this, and then you type your password, you confirm it. Once you click on OK, this document become password protected so there are so series of features you can study you can look at 
to actually perfectly get the best use of this particular PDF software. You can share your document directly from the email, right? You can share directly via the email or you can open on all tabs and share using other means. You can look at the sharing uh, methods here. You can open from DMs. You can save us to different kind of locations and you could connect directly here. You could convert to CPDF, which is Connect PDF. You can learn about it using the tutorials. There are a series of tutorials here on how to use the Connect PDF. You can have accessibility. You can change series of things. And you have the help assistant. Here you have series of helps that you can get about how to use this particular PDF document. You can go through these online tutorials to learn the basics about it and how to make the best use of it. I have used different kind of Adobe Readers, Nitro PDF, but this is the best PDF software that I have ever used. And I think I should strongly recommend it to anyone who is using PDF or is doing research to actually get this software and use it for himself. Because the advantage, the benefits is just too much. You can do all sorts of things. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have learned something about this Foxy PDF editor. If you do, kindly feel free to share with your friends. And remember to hit the like and subscribe button to stay connected with this channel for more of our useful videos. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.